Hey everybody, what's going on? I hope you're all doing really well. My name is Amanda and this is the Connected Conduit. This is going to be a timeless message, so whenever you find it, you are meant to. This message is intended to confirm your intuition and what you're already feeling and sensing about your Divine Masculine, okay? So I feel really called to pull from the Animal Spirit Guidebook by Kim Kranz, just to kind of get a little sneak peek into what your masculine is experiencing at this time along their journey. As I tap in, I can feel so much going on in the heart space, you guys. There's a lot of stuff going on in the heart chakra. Um, I'm feeling a lot of pressure behind my eyes. So this is like, it's love, but it's also pain. It's love and it's fear. It's love and it's at the same time they're in love and at the same time they feel like they're being ripped apart they're being ripped to pieces it's very intense okay um that's what i'm getting it's like their heart chakra is is bursting open but they're they don't want it to they don't want to feel this love but they they can't help it the shark okay i'm gonna go to the guidebook for this Oh, wow, I opened it right up on that page. Ooh, that's cool. I love it when that happens. Okay, shark. Directness, exposure, revealing true nature and desire. The shark is only dangerous when we don't acknowledge it. This card indicates that something big needs to be exposed. It's lurking in the depths and creating tension. Shark energy takes over us when we are hesitant to be honest, to be totally ourselves, or to say what we really want. It may be tempting to continue pretending nothing is wrong, but when shark energy is at play, we feel its presence encircling us. When in balance, intriguing, captivating and mysterious when out of balance sneaky destructive to bring back into balance honesty honesty oh my gosh divine feminine that is unbelievable so right now this masculine is basically drowning in their emotions they're drowning with their feelings there's been so much that they haven't said to you. There's, they haven't told you how they feel and it's eating them up inside. It's eating them up inside. So it's almost like this masculine is finally starting to admit to themselves that this feeling is not going away. This love is not going away. Their love for you remains. Not only does it remain no matter how far they run, it's actually growing in intensity. So finally, it's like the, the masculine starting to acknowledge their feelings and starting to get to this place where they need to get this off their chest before they explode. This is big, you guys. They're, they're getting ready. There's a lot of tension between you guys right now. It's been building and building and building and this masculine's about to blow. So I feel like they're getting ready to be honest, getting ready to remove the mask, be open up front, direct, and reveal what they're truly feeling. You or your person could have water very prominently in your chart. You don't have to. But with shark hair, that's a water sign. I'm, I'm feeling called to pull from this deck, Healing with the Angels by Doreen Virtue. I want to get a card for the masculine. How they're feeling towards the feminine at this time. 
I see intention at the bottom of the deck and it again you guys it's like they're getting clear on their intentions when it comes to you speaking their truth we have spiritual growth coming out that is gorgeous and we have dreams on the bottom of the deck so your divine masculine could be showing up in your dreams very strongly at this time divine feminine um, your masculine has been dreaming about you and it's encouraging them to speak up because it's almost like it's almost like this masculine was in denial or, or saying things like my feelings aren't real um this isn't a big deal i'm gonna get over this i'm gonna forget about this person i'm gonna move on with my life but they can't they can't no matter how hard they try and it's like they were just trying to downplay it downplay their feelings but it's it's built it's it's like things are so tense right now it's palpable um with spiritual growth here your divine masculine understands that they are on a spiritual journey that this is no ordinary love this is divine and you guys met so that you could heal one another. They see you as a, an earth angel. You could be very spiritual. You could be on the spiritual path yourself, Divine Feminine. You could be an influencer. You could have your own YouTube channel. You don't have to, okay? But they see you as someone who is ascending very rapidly and as you ascend and grow, they're noticing shifts within themselves, within themselves. This masculine is, is starting to understand that you guys are really, really connected, right? And as they notice you going up and ascending and becoming more spiritual or opening up, um, becoming more in touch and tune, they are also growing and they're noticing the connection the synchronicities i'm hearing this is no this is no coincidence this is no coincidence what i'm experiencing is real dreams came out dreams came out Your masculine's been dreaming about you a lot, Divine Feminine. Like so much that they can't they can't deny this anymore. They can't deny this connection. They know what this is. It's spiritual. You guys met for a very, very big purpose. And I feel like they are they're just dying to get to you, dying to talk to you. What can you expect next from your masculine here, Divine Feminine? What can you expect next? Your masculine stressed out. This has been tough. This has been a very difficult journey for both of you. The five of pentacles. I feel that your masculine is quite unwell, you guys. Like... They're missing you like crazy. If you, you guys are in separation, and what I'm hearing is it's the longest separation period you've ever been through, and your masculine is suffering greatly. There's a lot of pain, fear, feeling unwell, abandoned, okay? You may have triggered some sort of wound within your masculine that needed healing. Perhaps an abandonment wound. The Knight of Cups. They're coming out of the cold, you guys. They're coming out of the cold. If there's been, well, there has been separation here. So your Divine Masculine can't stay away from you. It's physically paining them. Like it, it hurts to stay away from you. It physically hurts. So the Knight of Cups is an energy where, you know, the Knight of Cups keeps his feelings close to his chest. 
but they're drowning in their emotions. This divine masculine is getting ready to speak their truth. They're getting ready to break the silence, come out of the cold, let you in on a few things is what I'm hearing. Your divine masculine is preparing to let you in on a few secrets, a few things that have been going on. They want to enlighten you. They want to tell you about things that they've been experiencing. And they can't hold this love in anymore. It has to come out because holding it in is actually causing them pain. My heart chakra feels like it's going to burst, you guys. This masculine has been on a spiritual journey. And this last separation you guys have been in, it has been very pivotal is what I'm hearing. Pivotal and poignant, okay? There's been some sort of massive shift that's taken place here in your masculine. And they're ready to be upfront and honest. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah, you're different. You're different from everyone and anyone they've ever known. And this is what they're realizing. They're realizing that what you guys have is unlike any connection that they've ever known for their entire life. They've never known anyone like you, Divine Feminine. Oh, this one fell out. Oh, it's free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. This is beautiful to see. Your Divine Masculine is starting to open up to free their mind, to free their heart, to free their soul. And they're surrendering. It's like they're allowing themselves to come towards you. Your divine masculine has been freeing themselves of blocks, toxicity, addictions. They've been healing and that's what this whole journey is about. They went inward is what spirit just told me. They went inward and they found a lot of answers. They did a lot of shadow work. I'm hearing it wasn't fun. It was very painful. It ripped them wide open. It cracked them open. And they're ready to take this risk towards you, okay? The two of swords fell out all weird right on the, on the table. They tried to block this. They tried to shove it away. They tried to ignore it. They tried to plug their ears and close their eyes and block this connection out. But it didn't work. It didn't work. For many of you, you know, you were so different. And when and when you guys met, they weren't in a space to appreciate your differences. But now they are. Because your differences, you guys were like a mirror to one another, right? You triggered them. You showed them things within themselves that needed healing. And they showed you things, Divine Feminine, that you needed to heal. And I feel like it's time for you guys to come back together now. It's time for a reunion. It's time to talk about what's been going on. Yeah, the lovers. I told you. Oh my gosh, you guys. You can't make this stuff up. I just said it's time for you guys to come back into union and the lover's card came out right after I said that. There you are. There's divine feminine and divine masculine coming together side by side, having union, talking about what's been going on and telling one another how they truly, truly feel. Because I feel that both of you have so many things that have been left unsaid. You haven't fully expressed your love for one another yet. But you're about to have this chance, this opportunity with your masculine because they're coming back. They're not running anymore. They're ready to face this. And the divine is guiding you two together very, very strongly at this time. I keep getting the song, come together right now over me. They're ready to tell you divine feminine what's been going on so get ready you guys
they haven't been able to get you off their mind for a second. Not a single second. You've been on their mind every single second of every single day. And it's honestly driven them to the brink of insanity. <laughs> okay. It has. And they've had to surrender. This is what they've realized. And they're coming back humbled. They're coming back humble, Divine Feminine, so. This separation is unbearable. I am going to end it very soon with a text message or a phone call. Yes. You guys, that was right on the split. And then my whole life got turned upside down after we met. So much has changed since we last spoke. Okay. My heart beats for you and you alone, my love. The trouble is I'm in love with you. Yeah, the trouble is they are divine feminine. And the reason why it's been trouble is because it's caused them to heal. It's caused them to go through a dark night of the soul and really take a good hard look at themselves. And they've also had to make a lot of changes, very difficult changes. This connection is undeniable. It's undeniable and resistance is futile. Divine Feminine. The trouble is I'm in love with you, Divine Feminine. Okay, so there you go. You, you're unlike any other. Your energy is unmatched. You are a Divine Feminine. I'm working hard behind the scenes in the hopes of being together again. Yes, I knew it, you guys. Your masculine is... They are working hard. They're working so hard on their spiritual growth and development. That is beautiful to see. Okay, so you guys, this is what I have for you. Get ready because you're masculine. They can't stay out in the cold any longer. They are uh, fiending for you. <laughs> they are craving you constantly. And the feelings that they've been keeping hidden are eating them up inside so much that they are about to blow. And they're coming in to tell you how they feel. And... I also feel that you're going to hear some sort of news that you're not expecting to hear. And it has something to do in relation to your masculine freeing themselves from some sort of karmic cycle, um, a karmic pattern, a karmic relationship, whatever it is for your masculine. It's going to be different for all of you, right? And um, you're going to hear about the dreams that they've been having about you as well, Divine Feminine. So... They know that they can't ignore their feelings any longer. They can't sit here and suppress them. It's too painful. It's just too painful for your masculine. So get ready, you guys. This is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.